And so here is another tool that uh, might be really useful for you to run at some point after installing it to get an idea of what your uh, GPU is capable of. It's uh, called the list compute units. And uh, compute units are both the CPU and possibly the GPU. And you'll get some information about that. Now, this program is located directly in where Howler was installed. So, you know, if, if you start with, let's say you go to the, to the C drive and you go down to where it's installed, it's not on the program files typically, it's on the program file x86. Unless you have a 32-bit version of Windows, then it might just be program files. Uh, but if you have the 64-bit, you have both, and the x86 flavor of it is where it got installed, usually. So let's see if we go down, there it is, Howler, that's my folder where I installed it. And you'll need to scroll down to the files that start with L, uh, as in list. So let's go all the way down here, there's some Lua there. This file here, list compute units, um, that's the one you want to run. However, it needs to be run in a command window. Let me show you what happens if you just double click it here, if you right click and open. Let me uh, double click it, okay? Well, it comes up, runs, and goes out. So this one actually doesn't have its own window. You need to run this from a command window. So let me guide you quickly through how to do that. Uh, go to the start menu at the very bottom. Okay, you can't see everything here, but uh, let me just tell you. What you do is in the search box at the bottom of the start window, you type in command. Or, uh, excuse me, not uh, command, uh, run. You can do a run, R-U-N, and then the search will look for it. Or you could type in uh, CMD, which will run the command window. If you go with run, you can then type in um, CMD as the command to actually run. So let me show you the, the slow path, <laughs> the slow mode, right? You select run and this window shows up where you might have done things similar to that in the past, like MS config to mess with the system configuration. Um, here we go and run command. All right, and then that will bring up this command window. So again, that's one way to do it, and the other one, perhaps the better way, for, if you've not done this much, you could just type in CMD in the search box, and you'll see command.exe, click that, and you're ready. So now you're on the C drive in this folder, users owner. What I recommend first is type in CD space slash to go to the very top level. If you type t uh, PWD, print working directory, it will show you uh, where you're currently at. No, it's not a command, but that's okay. Uh, let's go and type in cd um, change directory to, uh, well, let's see, we can do dir, directory listing, right? dir, that will, let's uh, resize this window a little bit so we can, we can see more of that scrolled information. We, so we should see a folder called uh, program files, there it is, and another one program files x86. That's the one we need to go into. All right, so we are currently at the top level on the C drive. By the way, if you installed on a different drive, let's say on the D drive, you don't do a CD D colon. Uh, this is DOS and it's got a little bit of a difference between this command line and the, the Linux command line. What you do is you just type in D colon, uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter. Remember in Windows, it, it's case insensitive. So you could go to the D drive and, and you'd have, you know, well, I have other stuff there. So I'm gonna go back to the C drive and now I'm going to go to up, hold on, let me uh, make sure the capture will actually show that. There you go. I'm going to go down to uh, program files. When you hit the tab, you don't have to type it all. If you hit the tab key, it will show you what's there, but that's not the one I'm looking for. So I need to go and make sure I'm going to go into spell it right. If, if, you, if you have it uh, without a space between files and the parentheses for x86, make sure you don't put the space there. But in my case, I have it with the space as you can see here. So that's where we want to go. And so we're now in the C drive program files x86. Next thing we do is we go down to Howler, right? And now I'm in that directory. All right, so here we can do a dir for everything. There's way too many files to scroll through. Um, there are a lot of files installed uh, for dog waffle. So what I'll do here instead, if I do a dir directory listing of um, the file that starts with list and then star. So the list star will show me only the files that start with list. There's only one. In fact, if I did a DL star, there might be a few more files, right? Maybe that's a little bit easier to see that it's exactly doing what we're asking for. And here's the file list compute units. So we just run that, right? So we type in list compute. I'm typing it with uppercase where needed here, but it's not really needed. So, I mean, you know, why not just go there? 
list compute uh, hit the tab key to finish you don't have to type it all um, Windows will will find that and then hit enter all right and so now we have this program running and not disappearing on us right uh, so <clears throat> we have now the list of compute units and there are two two found here one is the CPU accelerator down here at the bottom and another one is the the GPU uh, this one's a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 mobile I'm on my laptop here and it has two gigabytes of RAM and you see a couple of uh, features there and then uh, there's also the GPU, the CPU accelerator here. And the amount of memory shown here is not quite correct. Um, I actually have 16 gigabytes of RAM on this machine. Um, but this might be a program that's compiled for 32 bits. So the maximum it's going to see is uh, 4 gigs. I guess that's what's happening here. Uh, we might want to check into that. At any rate, um, what, this is going to be important for us to see. If you have a problem with your uh, running the dog waffle, or let's say the 3D, um, the, the 3D designer uh, in shaded mode or some other parts, and you're contacting us to, to help you with that, we'll need to know details about your system. What version of Windows is it exactly? Is it the 32-bit or the 64-bit? Uh, but then also on the GPU side, what graphic card do you have? And, um, and, and the best way you can help us uh, also is to run this little utility and uh, copy this into the email. Now, how do you copy that into the email? You can right click here and you can't do a copy, you can do a select all. And then after that, you can hit enter and that will copy the selection. So that's a good start to do that. You can uh, select all. So everything has been selected. But now if you do a right click, well, <laughs> the selection goes away. So, you know, you have to remember, you need to use a shortcut enter to actually copy the selection into the clipboard. So let's do that. Let's go right click and select all. And then uh, hit enter, bingo. And so supposedly it's now copied all this into the clipboard. And by the way, by all this, I mean everything that's in here too. So this entire text has been selected. And what I'll do is I'll run something like, um, I don't know, notepads just to show it. This is the point where you would put that into your email message. Or maybe first put it into notepad temporarily. So open notepad and then control V to paste it. Or go right here and control V there, paste. And so now you have that information that was copied, selected and copied from that run window, from that command window, is now in here. And we can go and delete all of the ones, uh, all of these lines that we don't need. Um, let's go scroll down to about here and delete that. And, um, you know, something that you could leave in, in what you're going to send us if you email us, uh, the information about it. You might want to leave it here. Keep this so we see exactly in which directory you've installed it. Sometimes we might find something odd about it. Um, and keep this and then also, um, let's see, and, and then this part, well, this part might not be, well, that's the same thing. Anyway, so, so what's really useful is uh, this part here, the GPU and the CPU information. All right. Uh, so that's a quick note on uh, how to run this utility, list compute units.exe.